Ashley. And we are Canadian girls that like reading books. We do. Yes, and uh, I just ordered some books from thebookoutlet.ca. And if you don't know about that, it's a website you can order books and it's free shipping for books that are $45 or more on your order. And I got this big old sucker for a really good deal. So uh, They're cheap, y'all. Yeah, and those hardcovers <laughs> suck. Yes, so let's get in here. It's exciting. I've been waiting for a week till yes. Ashley comes over so I can do this. Which is very good because I have no patience at all. All right. Okay. <laughs> What's up? Okay, bye. You can hold that. Okay. Information. Okay. But we'll save it if we, in case we need actually need it. All right. Well, we can say how much the books cost. Oh, okay. If it's, Perfect. Does it have the prices on it? It does! Oh, yeah. It also tells you the country of origin. Ooh! And one is from China. Oh, so, exotic. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Who knew? Okay. So, the first book we have is called Never Ever. And I think this is a book about Peter Pan uh, in a modern day. It's a YA book. And so it's like a, a Peter Pan in New York kind of story. So, alright, let me. I'm just going to have a look at that, you can uh, do the next one, and then I will do my commentary. <laughs> the next book is another YA book. This is called The Cat King of Havana, and I don't know anything about the author, Tom Crosshill, but I read the summary, and it was about, it's a romance story told in the view of a boy, which is also nice, like a teen boy, who... Um, loves uploading cat videos to YouTube and so he decides he needs to change his life a little bit and he signs up for salsa dancing lessons. Ooh. So he's all about salsa and it looks like um, this, let's see, oh he goes to Cuba to do salsa so that's... Well, I mean it is called the Cat King of Havana that's right, so that's right. uh, just saying. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to say upon, upon reading some more information about Never ever. Um, so here's the tagline. She didn't believe in love until real life Peter Pan stole her heart. Mm. Probably great for book, you know, situations. However, in real life, that's usually not a good thing. No. I'm just going to say that. But, Pirates, uh, crocodiles. <laughs> Tinkerbell. That might be a weird Tinkerbell relationship school. that will scar you for life. Um, never <laughs> ever grow up, never ever turn into my parents, which, I mean, that's everyone's mm -hmm. mantra when they're young, and never ever fall in love. Yeah, Hermit right mm -hmm. now. You're 16? Hermit, <laughs> become the cat king of Havana Just and make YouTube videos of your cats and that's all you need. <laughs> be lonely and old. That's right. The next Maybe. book is by Steven Ooh. Saylor and it's called Wrath of Furies and I got this one because it deals with the classics in the ancient world and uh, our favorite Romans and stuff like that so I thought that would be... <gasps> Did you see that? No. <gasps> Ooh. That's a signed copy my friends. I didn't know I got a signed copy. That's interesting. Bonus. Yeah. Anyway, so we love a good uh, ancient world story. Yeah, it's a good it's a good picture on the front. Mm -hmm. It's very dramatic of a you know, s statue fighting or whatever. And his head ripped off. Yeah. Oh yeah, his head is ripped off. Well, or is it ripped off or is it just down there? He could be bending down. We don't know, but uh maybe we'll find out if we read the book. So cool. Oop, almost knocked over right here. Oh, Party no. Okay, yes! So I read all kinds of different kinds of books. I'm not a particular person. Ashley and I have both been reading a lot of fancy right now, getting that Brandon Sanders oh, yeah. on Miss Born. Yes. Miss Born! Yes. Anyway, but once in a while you need a break from the heavy duty reading and get some dirty old smutty romance. <laughs> Here is a Tessa Dare book. Do you want to start a scandal? Why, yes. Yes, I do. Do you want to start a scandal? It's that, like, do you want to build a snowman with different... Let me just circle your nipple on the front. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Scandal. So dress is coming and, off and they're out of ball. And, and the author's name is Tessa Dare. So it's dare like, you. I dare you to touch my nipple. <laughs> right? Yes. Uh, prepare to fall in love. <laughs> it's a kitty cat. Cat of kitty Havana. Kitty cat. Yeah. Cat of Havana. Just photobombing the video. I love it. <laughs> Uh, That's a dare. Wait, we gotta read. I think we gotta yeah, read the next read, excerpt from read. this. Okay. Get me excited. 
On the night of the Park Curse Ball, someone had a scandalous tryst in the library. Professor Plum. Was it Lord Canby with the maid on the divan? No. Was it Miss Ch Fairchild with a rake against the wall? Was she or, got an affair with a rake? Maybe. Or an actual man? Perhaps both. The butler did it. <laughs> All Charlotte Highland knows is this. It was not her. But rumors to the contrary are buzzing. Unless she can discover the lover's true identity, she'll be forced to marry Piers Brandon, Lord Granville, the coldest, most arrogantly handsome gentleman she's ever had the misfortune to embrace. Yes! When it comes to emotion, the man hasn't got a clue. But as they set about finding the mystery lovers, <laughs> mystery lovers, Piers reveals a few secrets of his own. The oh-so-proper Mar Marquess? Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? Yeah, I don't know. Marquess. You'd think I'd read a lot of books, you'd think i know. Uh, can pick locks, land punches, tease with sly wit, and melt a woman's knees with a single kiss. Yes, he can! Yeah. The only thing he guards more fiercely than Charlotte's safety is the truth about his own dark past. Oh, he's, he's see. Their passion is intense, <laughs> the danger is real. Soon Charlotte's feeling torn. Will she risk it all to prove her innocence, or surrender to a man who's sworn never to love? But does he have money? Because well, if this is a Victorian drama, that's all that matters. I mean, really. he's a Marquess. Yeah, so whatever. Or whatever. Just take that money so and live a I'm good gonna, life. So I'm going to guess that he probably has some cash. So, yeah. Do you want to start a scandal? Yes. Yes, we do, Piers. Yes. And just, just because cats and boxes, this cat mm -hmm. is loving this box. And she's <laughs> probably going to tear up all my books. Get out, baby cat. She's just a book lover too. Well, oh, she doesn't want it. It's not happening, so she can stay. <laughs> so cute. All right, and in that same vein, here's a Julia Quinn novel. It's in his kiss. This is from the Brigerton saga. It's another cheap little romance. I got a Brigerton's book the other day. Um, just because I wanted something fluffy in the middle of reading hardcore stuff, and I read it in two days, and I was like, yes, I know. It's like, yes, Mr. Darcy, I bring my ankle, I hate you, I love you. So, that's one of those. Hey, you just, sometimes you need a Brigerton moment. It's good times. And that was only, let's see, let's see, how much was that one? Two dollars and forty-nine cents, y'all. These are good deals. I think some of these in here were like a buck thirty-nine. Like, they're pretty cheap. Let's see. The Cat King of Havana was $3.09. Do You Want to Start a Scandal was $3.69. And those are hardback mm -hmm. books, guys. Uh, let's see. Wrath of the Furies is only $2.99. And that's signed. Hard and that books. is signed. That's Less impressed. than $3. dollars i am impressed. Get off. Now wait, is that Canadian or American? Canadian. Oh, mm -hmm. then that's even better. And I, I think this might be the last of the shady romance novels, but <laughs> this one I think Ashley will appreciate because we are members of a secret, not so secret society called the Swarthy Sailors of Shelburne um, sure. that protect Canada mm -hmm. against a threat from the deep. And the next book we have here is called The Sea King. Ooh. And it's a smutty romance about a merman, mystery man, as a prince of the underwater what? world. Yo, yes. And, I uh, uh. think there's going to be some plundering. <laughs> you know, probably. Mm -hmm. um, now, does he look like Jason Momoa? Because that is the most important part. He looks very confusing ethnically there. He looks tan <laughs> and maybe Italian, yeah. but he has also dreadlocks. No, yeah. So. See, <laughs> they're <laughs> like ringlet dreadlocks. Yeah. Mm. I mean... You know, I'm just saying, like, if, if if a sea man is going to plunder me, I prefer it to be a, a Jason Momoa-esque figure, but, um, you know, you the, see, that's the great thing about reading, because even Picture though... Picture what you want. Yeah, Picture so in my mind, want. reading this book, yeah. it's just going to be all Jason Momoa all the time. So. <laughs> yes, and supposedly he's looking, so let's just see here. Uh, he's a prince, and he's going to a court uh, where there's three magical princesses, and they're trying to eradicate a pirate threat. Okay. Awesome, right? And yeah. secure the power of the sea throne. And so he vows to return home with a fierce warrior queen as his bride. Ooh. So uh, she looks like she might be playing him, but underneath she's got like Wonder Woman armor on. She's a yeah. Queen. So, that's cool. Anyway, we'll see what that's about. Okay. I don't know anything about that, but that looked good. 
So for a fun, uh, fun laugh. And and that one, the Sea King, since we're just can be this, yours for three, three sixty nine. Sixty nine. <laughs> three sixty nine. Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, there's a big one here. Oh. Uh, it's, um, watermelon beer, which sounds weird, but it's actually pretty good. good. Yeah. I have a box set here. Uh, v. E. Schwab. This is a magical series um, that is in fantasy, and I saw it on many people's Goodreads list, and I wanted to read it, and I saw they had a box set, and it was a really good deal. And uh, it, each book, I think it's about kind of jumping through realms of London, England, and there's different colors that go with different levels of the world. So there's uh, red, black, and I don't know if it's white or gray. And uh, anyway, it, I don't know much about it, but they are supposedly really awesome. Twenty dollars and nine cents for, for the, these three books, and they're twenty-two. The they're twenty-two dollars each if you buy them separately. And what is this? Ooh. Something. It's a map of the different Londons. Okay, Whoa. you get the box set, you get a map of the different Londons. So it looks like there's a. A gray or silver. Silver. A black, a red, and a beige? Gold? Or is that real world? I don't know. Is real world beige? Kind of. It's like sepia tone. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll okay, that's cool. Know. That's cool. But she has gotten a lot of good reviews. I hope it's a she. Maybe not. Whoever the writer is. Well, that's a problem when they use initials, but I mean, you know, gender is a. Made it doesn't up matter. So the, author, cares, I the author has gotten good reviews on their series and their books and like over four stars on Goodreads so I'm excited to check that out. Oh and this one has like some bonus stuff which is cool. There's like a like a explanation some reference material the in the back system. which is cool. And uh, oh yeah and like how to like well maybe not pronounce things but like terms in the book which I think in a fantasy book is good mm -hmm. um, for sure. Yeah Brandon Sanderson is really good with that too. If you've read the Stormlight Archive which is his epic one he's doing right now and Mistborn at the end of them they explain a bit more of the magic series and like the See I listen to them so I get mm. none of that background. Yeah well so. if you ever get confused it helps. Oh cats get in there get the cat out of the way. This book is by Michael Moore Cock. Cock. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Gloriana. Not less cock. Yeah. About more cock. More, more cock. And his <laughs> Gloriana. And um, this is a fantasy book that has been around for quite a while. It's one that I have not read yet. Um, and I don't know if it's 20 years or something like that. But it's won, um, he's won a Pulitzer Prize before. And this is supposed to be like a magical fantasy book that is based loosely around Gloriana, which is Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. So, That's uh, cool. yeah, so I'm kind of interested in that because I like Queen Elizabeth history and... Well, and actually I've been watching the Victoria BBC series and her, like, theme song is Gloriana, so that's what mm -hmm. I was thinking mm -hmm. of. Mm -hmm. But also, can we just say the subtitle of this, it's actually called Gloriana or The Unfulfilled Queen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's no E in unfulfilled, it's U-N-F-U-L-F-I-L-L -L -L apostrophe D. Mm. And I'm kind of into it, to yeah, be honest. Yeah. It's weird, but like, I don't want to see I'm what the outside it. this looks like. Okay, it's just black with the goldness. Yeah, it's all right. It's nice, it's nice. It'll look good, like if you want to be classy and put it on your bookshelf mm -hmm. with no cover. It'll look nice. And that's a that is a bargain book on there too. I think that's okay. Uh, that's rather yes. cheap. Gloriana, four thirty nine. Yeah, so that's a good one. Michael Moorcock. I just want to say more cops. You ruined it for me now, but in a good way. <laughs> uh, the next book is Nightwing, Ooh. Volume 1. I like comic books as well. And I always liked Nightwing because he's Robin. And he's like, I'm, I'm, I'm rebelling against Batman, my, my adopted dad. And so he doesn't want to be psychic anymore. And he becomes Nightwing. And he also has a thing with um, Batgirl. Who was Barbara Gordon, who's a gorgeous redhead. I'm a bit impartial. Mm -hmm. And she's smart. Anyway, so Nightwing, um, I'm excited to see this because I don't know much about his origin story, um, but I do know later on what happens between him and Batgirl, etc. But I want to read this one and 
So, like, is this, like, his origin story of, like, how he went from being Robin to Nightwing? We'll find out. I, okay. I, I mean, there, I see Batgirl now already. It's exciting. And another Robin, which I don't know if it's him or the one that replaced him afterwards. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's volume one. And it's called Better Than Batman, which, hello, yes. He is <laughs> I'm sorry. He's, like, an acrobat and stuff. Oh, and cool. he doesn't have all that money, but he's still badass. So, Robin. Nightwing. Nightwing, let's see. Eight sixty nine. I can't have the sixty nine. They like comics are expensive, so that was actually not a bad. Well, yeah, but it's nice and like it's paper and everything, and everything mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. for sure. All right. So the next one I got is Flame in the Mist by Renee Addy. Addy. Sorry if you pronounce the name terribly wrong, but this is also a fantasy book. Uh, I think it might be a little bit YA. There's a Target sticker on here, so it must have Ooh. come from Target at some point anyway. I'll deal with that later. Is that their secret? That they just actually get They just rob Target and put it on cheap <laughs> online. But um, it's neat because it's also uh, Japanese, set in uh, Imperial Palace, and um, uh, yeah, it's interesting to, to read a book that is a bit fantasy in feudal Japan. So that'll be a neat yeah. setting. Um, it, I like how it says, a riveting Game of Thrones meets Arabian Nights love story. And there's a bit of love story there, too. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. yeah man. Anyway, I'll read that. See how that goes. Uh, we got another YA book. This is Shuffle Repeat by Jen Klein. And it was just like a little teenage love story, and I watched a couple Netflix movies of like teen drama, love yeah. stories, I was like, yeah, love it. it's love fun it. to read. So this is about um, a cool kid and a not so cool kid, and they have to, uh, one is like enjoying high school, Oliver is soaking up senior year's glory days, and June wants high school to be end and the real life to begin. So she's probably not popular, he's probably popular. And their parents put them together to drive to school together every day, and so they have to drive together to school every day. And so I think this shuffle report, repeat is kind of like what teams play in the car. Probably starts with fighting, might end up with Rage Against the Machine or The Cure. Sounds kind of like a rainbow roll book. I don't know if you've ever read any of mm. your stuff, uh, like Eleanor and Park or any of that. Oh stuff. yes, yes, yes. Also a lot of Eleanor redheads mm -hmm. in there, and uh, yeah, so that's, that seems. Cute. It's like an easy read. Yeah, fun. Something cute. Uh, oh, the dirty. Oh, the cat. The last book is yeah. Sherlock Chronicles. Oh, yeah. And can we just have a moment for <sighs> Cumberbatch? Mm -hmm. like... mm -hmm. And then, to be honest, <laughs> I will have a moment for Martin Freeman as well. Yes. Because he's cute and he is he's cute. AF, he's the original Jim from mm -hmm. the original. BBC office, office. Mm -hmm. and I don't know that his name was Jim in that but whatever yeah. he's freaking adorbs yes and I mean I'm down with both of them neither of them are really my type but I'm down for both of them and uh, look at that sexiness there you just can't <laughs> look at those look at those eyes they're just like come to me I will be mean to you but you know what I mean <laughs> You know I think I mean? he's actually a pretty nice guy, but in here he, well, he's well, not Sherlock. Yeah, not yeah. Sherlock. No, yeah. Sherlock can't love you yeah. so much. But I, I like so Ben De Um I like his voice. It reminds me a lot of like an Alan Rickman voice, which yeah. I love me yeah. Alan Rickman. Voice. I think he does a mean Alan Rickman impression. I actually. see it. Yeah, and it impressed yeah. me. And I said, "This is why it all makes sense now." Yeah. But so this is just a book that's like a fan book for the series so Sherlock. Let's, let's have a look at this. Because there's like making of the TV show. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, oh, more pictures. Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Deleted scenes. Mm -hmm. Pictures from the like filming. Ooh, look at that one. We gotta put that one up there. Okay. People that like a Cumberbatch and. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Just sexy in front of that weird wallpaper. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, cool. No, that's a good, if you haven't seen that show, uh, that's a good show to check out if you're interested in um, solving Very nice. riddles and whatnot. And it's the way they did the cinematography in that is actually really neat. Very I, cool. I thought it was very cool. With so. the, especially like when it, whenever there's like text or anything like that, and the way that like appears on the screen is always uh, very cool. And uh, the Sherlock Chronicles, now that was the one originating in China. Just. Oh. 
FYI. They love don't the know. Batch down there. I bet they probably do. I don't <laughs> know much about China. Sorry, China. But um, that you got that one. A real steal for eleven dollars and forty nine cents. Yeah, and that it was originally thirty six ninety nine. Yeah. So that was probably the most expensive, other than the box set in there. But ton of books, and actually, um, <laughs> there was one book that I wanted to order off of this one and I and it somehow got out of my cart. If you see something on Book Outlet and you really want it and the quantity is like less than a hundred, you should probably buy it because I had one in there that had a decent amount and I went back like the next day because there was a problem with getting this order with PayPal, something with Canada, they're not doing well with that. It's, it's I guess, I don't know. To anyway, so I couldn't use my PayPal money and I had forever. And so the next day I went in there to buy it and I ordered it and I was like, what the heck the book's got? So I had to do another order just because I was on the there. So anyway, I got another box coming, but uh, yeah, and there's a lot of deals. I think I, the next box I got, I got like 13 books for 52 bucks, so. So if we post this, mm. and you like it, <laughs> maybe we'll do another one the yeah. next time, if Julie can wait for me to come visit. Well, I have enough books here. You um, know. By the way, I think we should mention that Book Outlet does not sponsor this random video that we've decided <laughs> to make. Uh, I just feel like legally we may yeah. be obligated to say that. Yeah, we paid money for this. I paid money for this. Yeah, I did I not pay any love, money for it. I probably know Nash's of these books. Um, but yeah, like we're just readers. And we also read, you know, we use the library all the time. We're big yep. in the library. Yep, library. And is local good. bookshops too. It's yep. just like when you need a big old dose yep. of books and, you, and you're broke, this is a great yep. place to go to get Absolutely. a whole bunch of stuff. So, anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and uh, let us know. Yeah. Bye. Like Bye. and subscribe, even though we don't know if you will have anything to subscribe to, but do it anyway. Yeah. And that's uh, cute. Yeah, and we're from Nova Scotia. Yeah. You know, we're never neither of us are born here, but no, we but we live here and we like it's it. It's beautiful. Come visit. <laughs>